your partner doesn't have to be fully vested in your in your business they don't have to be working in your business with you they just need to be fully supportive of you and trust that you are on a path that a you want that's in the couple's best interest and that they trust you like if they can just let you know that they trust you with the decisions you're going to make you know that can be impactful all on its own without having to be involved per se but they need to be able to provide that level of support like i said you know as we got on we're watching our grandchild this week and we're trading off she's watching the baby right now you know so that i could be here to do this podcast and one of the most impactful books to help us identify stuff was rocket fuel and that book talks about a visionary and an integrator and you can have a mix you can use any which which two ways you want but when you get the right two people together they take off like rocket fuel and that book completely resonated with us because she is completely the visionary I'm the integrator in that setting of real estate we work very well together I mean it works out that we're husband and wife too obviously it works in another setting it's blending those two people together or if you need a third person another partner to help fill like fill the void a little bit my thought in that book the one thing that was missing was if you and your partner are both visionaries it says you can move you're going to move forward but things are going to fall apart because they're behind you well there's nothing wrong with having two visionaries and you bring on a partner who's an integrator so that they can pick up all that stuff. And and so you build your team around what you need. And that's the same thing we do with our general partnerships. We build them around what we need. So if we were looking at a small deal that we can cover the loan ourselves, we can cover the liquidity ourselves. We don't need any partners. We could do it ourselves. But if we're looking at a bigger deal and we need help with the loan information or we need help with asset managing or investor relations, things like that, then we'll bring in a other people to fill those voids. And that's that's really what we look for with teammates is it, we're not looking for somebody to complement the skills we already have, but to fill in the voids and and be a complementary in that to fill the to fill out the team. Just to recap, I would say that the first factor is you know arguably the most important, but it's the mindset. But then immediately after that, it's the team and the partners and the environment you're in, the people you're surrounding yourself with. Not just for the mindset reasons, but also like you said, the, the skills you can leverage. If it's complementary, then you guys can go farther together.